Arr! Arr! My name is Blackbeard, and we are back! Hooray! <laughs> Actually, I'm Tim. <laughs> Here I am. And uh, this is Tiger, and together we are Tiger and Tim, and we have another very special adventure lined up for you today, Tiger Cubs. Today we become pirates! Arr! So get your ships ready and walk the plank with us. Arr! Roll, titles, tiger! Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to Tiger and Tim. Rawr! And click the notification bell, please. Welcome to the show, Tiger Cubs. <laughs> it's me, Long John Silver, with my hook. <laughs> nice eye patch, Tiger. Do you like my eye patch, kids? Hmm. First job of the day for all of you Tiger Cubs at home, then, is this. It's a very special riddle that you must get right to come on our adventure. Isn't it, Tiger? Exactly. Yes. Are you ready? If you are a pirate and you get in a fight, you might need to wear this if you lose half your sight. Did you get it, Tiger? Did you get it, kids? Yes! Well done, Tiger! You're right! It's a pirate eye patch, of course! And that's right, Tiger Cubs. We are going to set sail on the Jolly Roger pirate ship on an adventure to find the buried treasure! How are we going to get to the land of the pirates? Hmm. Yes, me buckle! <laughs> Tiger's magic paw that opens the special secret tunnel door! I'm going to need my glasses as usual for this, kids. Let's go! Yahoo! Wow, Tiger! Your special secret tunnel of terrific travels is fast as usual, but a bit dangerous. Who's throwing this stuff at us? <laughs> and I've got my sea legs on, Tiger. And this ain't no ship. What do you mean we're getting thrown overboard and can't leave the tunnel until the tiger comes at home? Get a 10 out of 10 score in your tongue twister. Oh, tiger. Okay, but be quick. You know this bus has bad brakes. It's time for Tiger's Tongue Twister. And here's what it is today. <laughs> Okay. A pirate went to CCC to see what he could CCC, but all that he could CCC was the bottom of the deep blue CCC. A pirate went to CCC to see what he could CCC, but all that he could CCC was the bottom of the deep blue CCC. Yay! We did it! Well done, Tiger Cubs! 10 out of 10 for all of you too! Now, Tiger, the tunnel is closing! There's a dead end! Abandoned ship! Ah! Oh, phew! Oh, we made it, Tiger! Oh, my goodness! Please, can we go on a ship next time? Our London buses' brakes are always broken! But look, we're here. It's the land of pirates. Treasure Island, fantastic. That reminds me, Tiger, I meant to tell you what a pirate actually is. It's a man or a lady who attacks and robs ships. A lot of piracy happened in the 1600s and 1700s, so around 300 to 400 years ago. There were pirates everywhere too, including in the Caribbean. I've got to know more about it in our adventure. It's called Tiger and Tim, the Pirate Treasure Finders. 
Make sure you read along, Tiger, and make sure you read along with us Tiger Cubs, grown-ups, and any pirates watching from their ships at home. <laughs> arr, arr. <laughs> It was a warm afternoon and Tiger could hear Tim snoring so loudly that he could sink their ship. Tiger, though, bouncing with excitement, landed on poor Tim, giving him a fright. Ouch, Tiger, you landed on me. Tim, come now, quick. I discovered something magical. Tiger could hardly breathe. There, underneath their bed, lay a treasure chest. Tiger carefully opened the chest, and to his delight, it was an old map. Wowzers trousers! A map with X marks the spot, he said. Tim knew he wouldn't stop his friend from wanting to go in search of treasure. Tiger, after all, was a great explorer. So, at sunrise, the two of them set sail on their pirate adventure. Across the ocean, on their boat they went with Captain Tim singing most of the way. Hey ho, listen to me, for I am a pirate with a hook for a hand. Hey ho, listen to me, I don't like dry land. Thankfully, Tiger blocked out Tim's terrible voice and could hear nothing but the waves. My voice isn't terrible, Tiger. Cheeky boy. However, those waves became so violent that their ship almost turned over and they feared for their lives. Scared and confused, Tiger realized what the problem was. A huge one-eyed sea monster named Mike wanted to flip their boat and eat them for breakfast. Tim had to act quickly. So he grabbed the treasure chest and dropped it look, on Mike the monster's head. It scared him off and sent him to sleep for a few minutes. The twosome knew that they had to get to Treasure Island as quickly as possible and before Mike woke up. And just in time, they reached the shore and saw the cave from their map. Land ahoy! That must be where the treasure is, Captain Tim said, relieved. However, all they could see inside the cave was a little black box full of cobweb. Tiger, already disappointed, opened it, but it was empty. We've sailed all this way, Tim, and there was never any treasure, said Tiger with a sad expression on his face. Just as the young cub had given up, out of nowhere, a mysterious pirate ghost jumped out of the box. Ahoy, me hearties! Welcome to Treasure Ireland! My name's Pirate Pete, and I am the richest pirate ye will ever meet! Both Tiger and Tim looked stunned. Pete then pulled Tiger closer and said, This chest that lays before ye may be empty. But some things are worth more than gold or money, matey. Treasure is what we already have. Our family, our friends, and love. And with that, Pirate Pete disappeared into the bright blue sea. Tiger stood stunned, whilst Tim stood smiling. Sailing to the end of the world to realize that what you already have at home is more valuable is a good lesson for you, Tiger, said Tim, happy that he had helped the youngster on another learning journey. And through the sunset, the best friends sailed the seas again, not in search of treasure this time, but grateful that they had each other as well as love and family. The 
end. Wow! What an amazing adventure! And what an amazing lesson, Tiger. We're all so lucky to have our own golden treasure at home, aren't we? You are definitely my priceless cargo, young tiger. Shiver me timbers! What's that noise? Hello? It's the art critique! He says, stop searching for treasure. I'm waiting to review some art. Ah, oh, yes. It's time for his return. Let's go, Tiger. We're going to be late. Get your magic paw ready. What do you mean? Your paw will only work and take us home if we get a quiz question right. Ah, Tiger. <laughs> I think we need some help here. No problem, kids. It's me, your quiz master. With my perfectly fitting hat. Thank you very much. Fits perfectly. And I have a question to get you and you safely home from Treasure Island. Are you ready? We all know that pirates existed, but was the pirate known as Blackbeard? Real or not? A for yes, B for no. What do you think, Tiger? Yes, you're right. It's A. He did exist. His name was Edward Teach, who died in 1718, better known as Blackbeard. And he was a pirate from the UK, just like us. Arr, who sailed around the Caribbean and North America. Hi, America. Now, Tiger, please transport us home with your mysterious, marvellous, magical paw. I've got my glasses ready. Let's go. Yahoo! Aha! Hello, Tiger Cubs. And you, Tiger, it's me, the Art Critique. And why wasn't I invited to Treasure Island with you? I brought my special pirate sword. And here's a did you know fact about pirates. <laughs> as well as stealing gold and silver, pirates also stole food, candles, soap, spices, cocoa, cotton, wood, cannons, and other things. I didn't see art on their list of treasures, though. Well, I hope you tiger cubs out there have sent in some treasures of your own for this show. Ha <laughs> ha Wonderful paintings, drawings, arts, and crafts. Let's see them, then! And what a start we have here! This piece is from Liam, age seven, and he is in the USA. And what a drawing it is, a beautiful flower with raindrops, the words Tiger Tim, and if you look closely at the bottom, I think you can see Liam and Tiger together. Brilliant! Isabella, next up, is age 10 in Hong Kong, and she has also drawn Tiger. What a beautiful drawing! And Isabella has written at the bottom, this is if Tiger got mad. I'm sure Tiger never gets mad, but if he did, he'd look like that. Well done, Isabella! And last but not least is Aradia. She's age seven and she is in India. And look how beautiful her painting is. A true artiste with lots of drawing, lots of color and lots of talent. Well done to all the artists. Yes, yes, yes. I want to see more, more, more treasures from you kids next time. Amazing work. And remember to keep sending in your paintings, your drawings, your arts and crafts on the tigerandtim.com website. There's the link to upload. But now I'm going to research on why art was not on the list of things that pirates stole. 
But forget me, because you have a job to do now, Tiger. It's the end of the show. Sing along song. Bye bye, Cubs. Ah, well, what an adventure it's been, Tiger. And all of you, Tiger Cubs, I am exhausted but excited to have learned about all things pirates. Now, as all of you young pirates at home are members of the Tiger and Tim fan club, that means we expect you to do certain things. To be kind to others, to be well-mannered, to work hard in school, to respect your elders, and to try to read as often as you can. And if you promise to do that, kids, we will now sing our end of the show sing-along song for you, but make sure you sing along too. Work hard at school, we'll think you're cool. Learning is rather fun. We both like heat, ah, veggies and treats, but books are our favorite things. Remember to draw. Not with tiger's paw, and be kind to the people you meet. Oh, we go together like strawberries and cream. With Tiger and Tim, you'll dare to dream. Keep reading, kids. And look out for all of our other amazing adventures. Blow them a kiss, Tiger. Goodbye, and keep watching.